Hello and welcome to this episode of the Corporate Escapers TV show. I am your host, Christine Innes. I am super excited to have the very beautiful and talented Lisa Ataris joining me. She is an incredible energy healer and we're actually going to be talking a lot today about soulful forgiveness and really what is the soul and also the power of forgiveness. So thank you and welcome, lovely, for joining me. Thank you very much, Christine Innes. It's just such an honour to be here on your show and well thank you for the invitation uh my absolute pleasure like we've gotten to really know each other you know quite well um you have helped me immensely um i want to like let everyone know that i receive beautiful energy healings from lisa and she's also being my spiritual coach as well so i've learned an immense amount of information um since working with you and i am so honored and so grateful um for what you've taught me but today I really want to dive in because there's two really powerful things. And do you want to share with everybody? Um, I talk a little, like, I, I say woo-woo, but it's all the spirituality thing because not a lot of people, you know, understand it. But we're going to be talking a lot about the soul today. So do you want to share with people what the soul is? Absolutely. So... My first introduction to learning about the soul was um, over two decades ago when I became very ill and that was my awakening to connect to my inner self, my spirituality. I didn't then have the knowledge I have today, but the soul is basically governing our existence, soul and source energy combined. And the soul sits here just above the heart and the soul is the sum total of the collective consciousness of who we are. What that means is that throughout history, all our lifetimes is the collective of what the soul is and the soul represents multiple inner beings. So some people have just a few inner beings in their few lifetimes, others that are old, old souls. We will have many, many, many inner beings and depending on the life you have led in the past, well, that is what is being recreated in this lifetime and we are here on this planet to have fun and to do the things that we want to do and like to live life to the fullest but our principal obligation is actually um, to heal the soul so this incarnation is about the soul's journey and the soul is creating situations, circumstances, events, conditions, afflictions, all of our experiences are originating from the soul, from our soul. And they, when I say they, the inner beings, they work in a co-creation process with other souls based on your vibration at the time and based on the lesson that we're going to be learning and the healing that will take place if one chooses to do the inner work, which I'd like to think we all do because we actually have come here for we're, we're growth seeking beings and we've come here to do the inner work. We've all come here to do that. But whether or not we do is another story. And the soul co-creates with another person or a group of people based on the vibration you're emitting from within. And it does it so that something inside of you can be healed. And the more awareness you have and the more consciousness that you live with and allow to, to see things for what they are, and that is it's all growth, you are helping your soul to actually heal from within. You're helping your soul to have expansion of consciousness and subsequently you will evolve as a human so your spirit, your name and your personality, that will evolve as you do the inner work and um, help the soul. So everything that happens to you is actually done for you, not to you. And by that, what I mean is your soul is creating every situation, every circumstance, every event, every affliction, everything that is happening It creates, it could be one, could be two, could be multiple inner beings, could be a whole collective of them based on the energy that is emanating at that time because the ego, the lower self, 
is the one that is creating the growth and the higher self oversees the growth. And when you do the inner work, what happens is the higher self comes in and acknowledges that and the vibration from within is raised. And over time, when you've done a lot of inner, of inner work on that particular topic, that particular subject, that particular inner being can be and is at times deactivated and it means they're still present and they're part of you but they don't emerge with that same energy and the vibration from within is raised and I know this to be the way it is because as I have been doing forgiveness work for well over two decades now since I became ill 23 years ago it's been explained to me as I have progressed along my spiritual journey. So forgiveness is a very, very important part of why we're here. We're all here to learn the art of forgiveness. And for many years, I did radical forgiveness um, with Colin Chipping as my mentor. God bless his soul, he has now passed over. And I learned a lot through radical forgiveness. And, you know, I would do it on a daily basis for years. And I healed a large portion of my soul. And then about three years ago, I was guided by the divine that radical forgiveness was now going to become for me soulful forgiveness. And I said, well, what does that mean? And I was told that this is the next level of forgiveness. It is healing mm. at a soul level where things have been created point of origin and when you do soul for forgiveness you are not just healing yourself your spirit your personality human entity part of you but you are also healing the soul and it is one of the most powerful things you could ever do because in essence we are all here to heal our soul and when you do soul for forgiveness which is going to be my signature program on planet earth what happens is you are healing not just one but probably multiple inner beings with the same energy because you see throughout history they did not do the growth that we are doing today things like this didn't exist we are very blessed in this lifetime because we've got technology and we have uh, growth material at our disposal and and I was told years ago when I connected to the Radical Forgiveness Technology and started to do it that this was created specifically for people that wanted transformation in their lives and it had not been around throughout history before. So I am a great believer in the power of forgiveness, uh, especially what I am doing today, Soulful Forgiveness, for I have been facilitating workshops here at my home with clients and I have seen the transformation of energy without emotions it's it's very powerful because as they are doing the work I am healing the people and they are able to heal at a soul level releasing emotions that had have, have been created in this incarnation or sometimes they may not even belong to the person they belong to the inner beings the soul and you are through forgiveness you are healing these divine beings. You are healing their energy that they have carried sometimes for thousands of years. And when you free that energy from within you, healing your soul, you receive the benefits because you will have more inner peace. You will have harmony. You will be more balanced. You will have more radiance. You will have higher energy levels. You will sleep more peacefully. You will be more loving towards yourself and other people. And it's like things change. The transformation of energy when it is at a soul level is so incredibly prodigious. It is just so magnificent for you. And the freedom you will feel and the lightness and the buoyancy you will have it is just phenomenal. When you combine soulful forgiveness with gratitude, these are it is a it is a golden formula for your happiness, for your emotional freedom, for your contentment, 
for your prosperity, for your abundance in your life. Because when you have emotional freedom, you have more clarity with your thoughts. You see things differently. And, you know, when you do enough forgiveness work, you actually do come to, because it's happened to me and I speak from experience, you come to a place of being non-judgmental of yourself mm. and that mm. also transfers to other people you stop judging others when you stop judging yourself that energy is no longer transferred to others and you no longer project that onto other people is an extremely powerful thing to do when you forgive yourself yeah. of things that have happened yeah like I I discovered like the power of gratitude um, when I first started sort of on my journey of rebuilding my life back up but when you've combined it and shown me of the power of forgiveness as well. So it's allowed me to sort of switch everything around and it's about learning the life lessons from it all. It's also about forgiving myself and, you know, all the, you know, the negative talk that we do, the, you know, the maybe the bad decisions that we've made and all of that, but we need to learn to forgive ourselves because what you've taught me is that the more I forgive myself, the more that it allows more love and joy back into my life because I'm not holding on to that negative sort of energy with it. It sort of releases it out. It gives me back the power and me back more control, but allowing more good to come into my life. So true, Christine. Whenever we do any form of forgiveness work, you are not just freeing yourself and freeing your soul, but you become, you do absolutely become more empowered because when you are holding on to energy that is not serving you, that is dense, that is negative, that is not for your highest and best good or not for the highest and best good of all concern, it lowers your vibration. And when you are in a low, low state of vibration, or frequency it means the same thing you are a attractor of things that you are not necessarily going to want from the universe because that coincides with the law of attraction it they work in collaboration so forgiveness is one of the highest frequencies that you can have as part of your life because when you forgive it's a very high frequency combined with gratitude for all that happens whether it be positive we are good at very we are very good at giving gratitude for positive things. Mm. But you know, if you can learn that all things, all things that happen to you, particularly the not so pleasant things and sometimes really bad things that happen, there is a very big lesson there. There is learning, soul learning for you amongst that negativity, amongst that unpleasantness. And when you have the understanding and awareness that your soul generated that because there is something there, it could be multiple things for you to heal the soul doing the work because the soul, the inner beings, they're wanting us to do the work to help them to heal. And every time you do, they, they absolutely rejoice. They sing your praises and you know because you feel amazing. You feel this sense of happiness and joy and fulfillment and peace and uplifting energy it's like it's something that is just so so wonderful that if you learn to forgive not just yourself because when you forgive others you also forgive yourself because it's always been a co-creation together you know it's like it is I would say from my personal experience the most freeing thing you could ever do for your life yeah. for your for your well-being and also for that of your souls and if you if you haven't ever tried forgiveness in any form some people haven't because they don't know I didn't know this before I um came ill I was holding on to emotions from my past and I was just imploding which is one of the reasons why I became sick mm. So a lot of people do not have this awareness and, you know, knowledge is power because when you know this, it helps you and, you know, it gives you, it leads to emotional freedom. It really does. Emotional freedom and, you know, well-being and balance, 
and love, self love. It's like it's it's like win win for you and all those. Yeah, it's like bliss. Like I I really just feel that you know with what you've taught me and shown me, you know it has transformed my life and just taken it to a next level as well. So I just I want everyone to know that Lisa is a very talented and incredible soul healer she is also an energy healer and I want people like if you feel that you're you know need that support and guidance to please reach out she is going to be creating a very beautiful course called soulful forgiveness and I I can't wait for that to come out because I know that that's going to transform lives and I just want to say thank you so much for you know coming on you know you support me and you know really have done so much for my life so I just really want to say a big thank you to you Christine Innes, it is for me an absolute pleasure to work with you. It's an honour to assist you and to be of service and work with you and to be here on this show today and share my story to help other people is, well, extremely inspiring for me and I feel really quite privileged to have this opportunity to do this and I thank you very much and for all those of you that do not know Christine personally she's a beautiful soul I've been working with Christine it's close to a year now and you know um she really is a lovely lady if you get the opportunity to meet her I encourage you to do that and well your journey here on planet earth is one of growth for all of us, we are growth seeking beings. And if you've never tried forgiveness and you've never practiced the art of forgiveness throughout your life, perhaps consider doing that because you will be amazed at the transformation of energy you will experience and the power of what this modality does for you because it's something we've all come here to do and you know you're going to free not just yourself and your spirit but you will be healing your soul and boy will you have rejoicing inner beings and will you feel that that energy and well really and truly reap the rewards of that Mm -hmm. so thank you very much for tuning in and again christine thank you so much beautiful one what an honor Thank you so much, lovely. I'm going to put, um, for all of those joining us, I'm going to put the details of where you can reach out to Lisa um, and, you know, please go and, you know, if you feel like you're in some sort of, you know, turmoil of life or whether or not you just need some support and guidance, um, I can highly recommend Lisa. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Lisa, for coming on. And I just want to remind everyone to please follow your passion and live life to the fullest every single day. Love and light to you all.